Britt Jenkins is live for us in McAllen, Texas, with the president's new threat to the illegals trying to pour into our country. Good morning, Griff. Good morning, Heather. It is very clear that this border is going to be a big part of the midterm elections, and we are at ground zero in the Rio Grande Valley sector, the heaviest traffic sector of the entire U.S.-Mexico border. Last night, the president in Montana had a rally sounding off on how he says this figures into the election. It's going to be an election of the caravan. You know what I'm talking about. But a lot of money has been passing through people to come up and try and get to the border by election day because they think that's a negative for us. Number one, they're being stopped. And number two, regardless, that's our issue. Now, that caravan of 4,000 is hundreds of miles from this border here, but the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is in Mexico at this hour. He will meet with his counterparts a little bit later today. We, of course, know that Mexico has deployed some 500 officers to help try and stop the caravan along the Guatemala border. Yesterday, Mexico's ambassador to the U.S., Geronimo Gutierrez, weighing in on what he thinks is really behind all of this. We have evidence that uh, this caravan is also very much politically motivated. So we're not, we obviously are sensitive to the humanitarian situation that we encounter and we're acting precisely. But we, we have also made very clear that there is no legal ground on which Mexico can issue a permit by which people can just go through Mexico towards the United States. But before that caravan even gets here, Heather, there's more than 16,000 families have crossed already in illegally last month into the United States. It's a record number here in the RGV sector alone. They're seeing a 300% increase in family units, more than 5,400 in this very sector, right where I'm standing in the last two weeks. And the leaders here say that is unsustainable. We're going to go for a ride along and get a firsthand look for you, Heather. A 300% increase in your area? That's correct. 300% since October of last year. Goodness. And the leaders here tell me that it's not sustainable. Just around the corner from me is the family housing unit that we were down here several months ago. And uh, we're going to have a look at that as well. Oh. But we're told it's at full capacity. Yeah, no way that would be sustainable. Thank you so much, Griff. Looking forward to your reporting. Thank you.